As we started with this, and I've been working on this, but now we got what we call the handicator. I found out that most guys do not have, know how to hold the club. Okay. Most guys, when they they put a club in their hands, are either like this, or they're like this, or everything. So what we've come up with is what Hogan says is what we call the swing plane. But the thing is, to teach people the swing plane, it's very difficult to do because they don't understand what you're talking about. The swing plane goes this way, and it comes down through this way. But a lot of guys don't go like this, they'll go like this, they'll swing from the top. Well, what we discovered is if we make a little device, which we call the handicator, and the handicator has dropped me from about a 10, 12 handicap to a 5 handicap, and it's completely changed my swing and golf, and I understand now. In fact. If I were a young man, and I had had this when I was a young man, I could have probably, well, I know I could, I could have been a lot better golfer. I've got a pro up in Salt Lake City using this, and he says the beautiful part about this is, is it teaches him all the time, it teaches him, it gives him a button to look at so he can do it right. So here we got what we call the swing plane. There's, there are two buttons here, and they're pointing out. This is your plane. Here is your plane. This is your plane. So if we take the swing plane and we, we have it like this, we automatically set up to the club the way we're supposed to. So here we are. There's it. The, like I'm the target is the camera. And they're parallel. So now they're parallel. So here we got this. Now, here's, here's a little item that Ledbetter put out. This is a grip that is illegal, but you can't use it on the golf course, but it teaches you how to hold the club. If I were to take and use the Leadbetter club, I am perfectly the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, you're lined up, and I see with the device on that see? they're also parallel. Yeah, they're, they're parallel. Now, what we want to do is when a guy takes his club back, we want to teach him when he gets back here, we want those buttons to be in line with his target. When he comes down through, we want him to start pulling those buttons like you would a hammer. And then you come down through, you're parallel or you're on the swing plane, you come back up through, the buttons are looking at you. So now we've got a guy doing it right. So when he sets up there, first of all he sets up, he's got his target, he comes back, he comes down through because he's using those buttons to drive him through, turn him through, and going out and they're pointing right at him. If he doesn't do it, look what happens. They go that way, so the target's going to go that way. If he comes back here and he breaks it, they're that way. I was watching Hal Sutton saying, hey, keep your hands in the circle. Otherwise, if you break it, he says, your, your hands are out of the circle, and so it takes everything in the world to get back. So you keep your hands in the circle. There's a circle right there. Up, come back through. Hands are still in the circle, pulling out, bang. The beautiful thing about this device is that I've got guys on it. I had a guy that he started to use it, and then he talking to his son in Oregon, and he says, hey, i got this great idea, I'm going to bring it up when I come up. And he started his son on it, and his son started doing what he's supposed to do, and his son was a long dry ball anyway. But anyway, his, calls, his son called him up two weeks later, and he says, Dad, that thing really worked. I've had guys that I've seen them on the golf course, and I go out and I give them one of these. Eventually, I've seen them drive. They, they improve their accuracy, but they also improve their driving distance. And it's just so amazing that when you get up here, if I, if I go like that, then automatically, look where my hands are. Look where those buttons are pointing. Yeah. If I go like that, look where those buttons are pointing. Right. But if I'm in the circle, those buttons are pointing where they're supposed to be, and I can come down through, bang. If you stay in the circle, then the club head stays in the circle. Okay. The minute you break it, the club head comes out of the circle. Okay. So when you come back, look where the club head is. It's up there on the plane, on the swing plane. Your swing plane's right here, and you're coming down through. Now, if I break it too early, this is what they call swinging from the top. But if I hold through like Dustin Johnson, Dustin Johnson's just like this, and then he releases. But he's got that power that he can pull those buttons down through. And this is what we want to teach people. Use those buttons to get them so they understand it. None of this. 
none of this or none of this. It's just that right there. Right. Boom. See, what we originally came up with is we started with this, and I've been working on this, but now we got what we call the handicator. And this is what we call it. We've had this trademark. So if a person has this, if example, if we could sell it to a large business or an established place that so they could use it, we could set this up so they could have their name on it. Now, another great thing about this is I've got a pro up in Salt Lake City, and he sent me some stuff, and he says, you know, it's just like having your own pro in your back pocket. You have a pro there to, to show you where your swing plane is, and all you need is this, and it doesn't take the, the place of a pro, but it teaches you what you got to know when you don't have a pro around to watch you, and this will straighten out many things. And like I say, I've gone from a, I've gone from a, about 11 to a 12 handicapper. I'm down to about a, between a 5 and a 6, and I'm 76 years old. Yeah. Can and I can still drive it. I had a guy the other day tell me, say, you know, for 76 years old, he said, you're still putting it out there 280, are you? Is you always go down through, put the index finger, the index finger one goes on here, and it's so simple to do, and it's, it's you carry it in your pocket, and there it is, it's ready to go. Right. Hi, Dave DeSantis here, veteran, uh, senior PGA golf professional from the Outlaw Golf Club at Hideout Canyon. Anyway, I'm here to uh, introduce a new golf product, a training aid called the Handicator. Um, it's a device, as the title or the name of the product suggests, it goes onto your hands. I've got a couple of them on now. Uh, you'll notice that they have a just a few straps that you put on uh, and uh, very easy to, to put on, not bulky at all, not embarrassing to use, uh, put on at the range or even when you play golf. Uh, you can use just one, practice with your, what your back hand or your right hand is doing or your left hand, um, what they're doing. I've written a new uh, golf instruction book called Golf, It's in Your Hands. And these, these, the handicator goes right along with um, the, big, the main premise of the, of the book, and that is to educate your hands for consistent golf. And to do so, well, we need to, uh, to discover what, uh, what, where the hands need to go, um, how they move, uh, or better said, how they're being moved. That's, that's the big thing that we... Uh, promote is that the hands are being moved as opposed to moving themselves. So that suggests that other parts of the body are doing the motion, which, which again, we promote that um, uh, quite a bit in our in our instruction. So anyway, with with the handicators on, it helps to uh, it gives it helps to direct your mind, if you will, onto your hands during the time that the other parts of the body are doing their thing so that the hands can do their thing and their thing is to feel what's going on as opposed to having to be disturbed by having to all of a sudden do the work that maybe um, other parts of the body have, haven't done so it's a great training aid that i invite you to uh, uh, to give a try if you'd like to uh, purchase a pair or more, please visit or email me at davedesantis at pga.com. davedesantis at pga.com. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to reading your email soon.